Hi everyone, I'm Rochelle with Originally Worn, and in this video, we're going to take a plain plastic pot and turn it into a stone looking pot. But first, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also, you can find us online at OriginallyWornOnline.com or all over social media under Originally Worn. Now let's get started. A reason you might want to do this project is you might have a lot of these kind of pots laying around. It doesn't have to be done on a plastic pot, but it can be done on the pots that maybe your plant came in, or these are really inexpensive um, at most stores, a lot less uh, cost than an actual stone one would be. Also, if you have a bunch of mismatch pots, you can paint them all to look like they are coordinating and came from the same kind of design and family. To start, I'm gonna put a coat of Annie Sloan French linen all over everything, including this inner edge down to this line here, in case the plant I put in here doesn't cover the whole top. I'm using a round bristle Annie Sloan brush. At this point, you can use any brush brush um, that you want also don't be scared to get a lot of brush strokes in this it'll actually help it in the end we're gonna do some more texturizing here in a minute but just give it a quick coat all the way around Also, you could use a blow dryer on this to help it dry faster to where like, I can't touch it now to get in the inside, but if I hit it with a blow dryer and then do the inside, we'll be good. After your first coat is dry, this step we're gonna create some texture. So I'm gonna use my round Annie Sloan brush to do this and my French linen paint, but you could use like a sea sponge or wadded up newspaper or like a pouncer sponge, anything to give kind of a stippled texture on here would be good. I'll show you what I mean by stippling. So we're gonna get some paint on our brush and we're gonna push it all over like that. So we just push it and it makes kind of a little bit of a stone texture to it there. Hopefully you can see that. So I'm gonna do this all the way around and I might hit it with a blow dryer again just to speed up the process here. So I have something to hold on to, but you can certainly wait too till areas are dry if you don't wanna hit it with a blow dryer. It doesn't really matter. I'm just impatient. Once this is dry, you can move on to your next step. You're gonna need a dry round Annie Sloan brush or another uh, kind of stiff bristled brush, uh, a towel to knock some paint off with, and some white Annie Sloan chalk paint. I'm using old white. So you get a little bit on your brush there, and then you take the excess back off. I actually have a video on how to dry brush. Um, I'll link it there up in the top and in the descriptions um, if you want to go really in depth with this. But basically, you put paint on and you take it back off your brush. And then the texture we created in here is going to make a lot of kind of places for this paint to grab onto. We're going to try not to make it look brush strokey. We're going to try to make it look like it's got a haze of white. Now I'm making it so it's more of like it was a once kind of painted stone that's wore off. Um, you can do this more with a sponge if you wanna do a blended stone kind of look. It's really always up to you. Whatever is fun and makes you happy. So you can see there how we've started to get some white I'm gonna go around. You can see I'm still working on the same amount of white paint that's on my brush. Now just pushing a little bit harder 
if you want to get a haze, you don't really want to get the brush strokey paint all over. And then once you really get it out of your brush, you can go in and do some swirly motions. That'll pick up nice on the texture we created. You need very little paint for this project. Um, so that's what I'm saying. You could get smalls of Annie Sloan and do a huge set of pots and it would be really fine. So there you can kind of see the white haze of the stone. All done with dry brushing. For our last step, we're gonna age the pot. Um, this typically would be done with dark wax or black wax, and it can be if you're gonna leave this inside. But if you're gonna put this outside, you can't have wax on it. So to get around that, I've mixed up a little bit of Annie Sloan Athenian Black with some water, and I have a big flat brush and a rag, and I'm going to kind of swipe it on and I'll show you. Just wiping it, putting it on there. And you might have a spray bottle of water if you want to keep it nearby. And then you can take it back off. And you go around and kind of dab and age it that way. I might mix a little bit more water into this mix and make it a little bit lighter. Okay, so now we have a little bit more water. See, it's not a problem. You can say it's all trial and error. See how it's a little bit drippier? That works a little bit better. And then take it back off. That's more what I'm looking for there. And yeah, we'll have one part that's a little bit darker okay it doesn't matter if it really bothers you you can go back over it with some dry brushing of your original color um, and blend it a little bit more it's not gonna bother me one bit old stuff is often very imperfect and very rough and that's kind of the the charm of it perfects boring You can start to see there what the age looks like and I have a little bit of section left back here to do you can wad this up in a ball for more texture And I was even able to rub off some of that initial really dark area right now with some more water to it. If I had a spray bottle nearby, I could have just spritzed it and taken some back off, but I wasn't uber prepared today. And we can't forget the inside. And the lip here. And there you have it. You don't need to top coat this at all because actually the Annie Sloan paint will harden up and kind of cure itself after about a week in the sun. I wouldn't leave it out in the rain before that week is up, but after that it should stand to weather just fine. Um, also, if you have some really special pots or you just love your paint job, so much. Uh, Annie Sloan does make an exterior lacquer in matte and gloss that you can put over top of anything if you feel like it. But there you have this guy. Here we'll stick a little cute plant inside of him. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. As always, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and you can find us online at originallywornonline.com or all over social media under Originally Worn. Happy painting!